praise the lord hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus okay so we can start today's session with the prayer in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen thank you lord thank you jesus thank you holy spirit thank you about father thank you lord for this wonderful day that you have given us to study your word and lord you are teaching us you help us to understand the secrets and the mysteries of your kingdom lord you speak through my mouth you think through my thoughts and you speak lord and lord as we are studying the word we have planted the seed and help us lord to water the seed and manure the seed and lord in due time we can see 30 fold harvest 60 fold harvest and even Hundred fold harvest. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, it is you that is teaching us this truth. And since it is you who is teaching us, you you reveal to us what this world cannot see, the 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 hidden mysteries that are beyond. human imagination man's imagination man's expectation beyond what we even imagine you reveal them to us and lord your word is working in us bringing manifestation thank you and praise you and glorify you lord in jesus mighty name we pray father amen 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 praise god hallelujah now thank you jesus so we were, we have been seeing about the seed the first step of seed uh when the seed is sown on the pathway a person does not understand and since the person does not understand the devil comes and takes away that seed yes yeah yes. yeah okay let's go to matthew chapter 13 Yeah, Matthew chapter thirteen verse nineteen. Okay, we'll see the. Uh, yeah. Okay, see this. When anyone heareth the the word of the kingdom and understands, praise God, nineteen. And and understands it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received seed by the wayside, but he that received the seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word and anon with joy receiveth it. That means, this is saying, the second type of people are the rocky ground, the stony ground. okay the seed falls into stony places okay this person hears the word and receives it with joy yet has he not root in himself but dure it for a while for when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word by and by he is offended now here we see it is saying he has received the seed and he has received it how with gladness with joy okay but then once he goes back you know because he has received it with joy and since he has received it with joy now when he goes back 100% there will be persecution and now when this persecution comes this uh, you know this all these you know opposition comes now by that opposition he is offended and that's when they lose the battle praise god thank you jesus now rocky ground 
can in other words be called shallow earth. A seed that germinates in shallow earth will put all its energy into growing above ground because there is nowhere else for it growth to go. Shallow ground means, okay, shallow ground is the ground where there is not enough soil. That's why it's shallow. If you see, if you go for the swimming, swimming pool, there will be one side of the swimming pool that is shallow and the other side will be where the water is really deep. Now, if a person is going to jump and dive, if he's going to dive in the shallow part, he can even hurt himself. Because, the you know, the water is very, you know, it's not too deep. You can see the ground. From outside, when you are looking into the shallow water, you can see, you know, you can see that ground. You can see the down the part of the pool. That's what is talking about here. Shallow earth means it is full of rocks. There is no much earth. There's no much soil. In other words, soil means earth. So there is no much earth. There is no much soil. Since there is no, no much soil, that seed that germinates will put all its energy into growing up, not down, but up. Because it does not have much soil means it does not have much deep rooting. And that is why he will, that seed will grow up. Okay. And that's why when you see the seed quickly, you know, it might come out very quickly. But after a few days, the seed is gone. It is died. Why? Because there is no much root. Yes. The seed grows better when it first grows down, that is roots. A seed will grow better, okay, when, when it first grows down, that is the roots. Praise God. And the word of God says, this word, this Bible should be rooted in the heart. That's what Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 says. Okay, you this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate on it day and night. Means when I'm meditating, it is in my heart. That's what we see in Romans 10, 8. The scripture says the word is near us, even in our mouth and in our heart. And there are many other scriptures that say, keep this word in your heart in Proverbs chapter 4, and so many scriptures. Why? Because when you're keeping this word in your heart, it, it will be better rooted. The, the word should be rooted in the heart. So at first, it looks better than the seed that is putting its, its effort into building a good root system. We had seen the other day, root system. It looks better the seed is, you know, growing putting its effort into building the root system. It looks better than that seed, you know, it looks better the seed which is growing up than the seed that is growing down. Hallelujah. I'll give one example. We see in the Bible there is, uh, you know, there is this rock builders and sand builders. Am I correct? Yes. This yes. Example, okay. Uh, when you see a rock builder, a rock builder will always be folded, will be focused on growing up or down. A sand builder, where, which it will be focused on. It will be focused on the height. It will be focused on how it can grow, grow up. Correct? Yes. But a rock builder is not focused on the heights, but the depths. How it can grow down. And that should be our focus. We should be focused on how much we can build a good root system. Praise God. Hallelujah. Did you understand? Thank you. Yes. Always remember, okay, let me tell you something. The second type of heart condition described in this parable, okay, here in this scripture, it is one where a person understood the word and was excited about it, but that person did not take the time to get 
God's word rooted inside. Therefore, the word did germinate. It did, you know, it did grow. They were very glad. They were very joyful. It did grow, but it could not produce fruit because it did not have a good root system. It quickly died. When the sun came, it was scorched and it died. Are you understanding? Yes. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Most people, they want the visible, visible root results of fruit, but they don't want to develop the root system because then, you know, it's, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. It is not happening. Then they come to a conclusion. Maybe it is God's will. But why they are praying and praying and praying and harvest is not happening? Because the seed is not sown. Does the scripture say my people are destroyed for lack of prayer? No. No. The scripture says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. knowledge. Yes. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Means... God is saying, my people are destroyed because they're not ready to develop this root system. We pray and we pray and we pray. But our prayers are normally hope, Jesus will heal me. But in God's kingdom, when we are praying, faith will make that prayer work. Now when I plant that seed, I will surely reap the harvest. But since we don't have the knowledge of the word, we don't plant the seed and we don't see the harvest. Praise God. Okay, how do we make the strong root system? Okay, that's a very good question. Uh, we make the, the strong root system when, you know, when our focus is on the word. When we have, you know, because the, the, the devil will always put this thought. You are praying, you are doing everything, you are fasting, you are going to church. But it is not happening. Right? Yes. Yes. But when you start studying the word, even though the devil will come, when you start studying the word, keeping your focus on the word of God and keeping your attention completely on the word, not trying, you know, you will not divert your mind. Your focus is completely on the word. That's how you make a strong root system. Because you're giving, your, you know, you understand that there is a time gap between sowing the seed and reaping the harvest. Since there is the time gap, in that time gap, you're growing. But, it, but you, it's not, it's not your job to develop the root system. Okay, please understand. It's not your job to make this root system grow. You only have to plant the seed and in that time gap, start studying the word. <clears throat> start keeping your focus on the word. You just have to water. You just have to put the manure. You just have to guard that seed. Yes? Yes. Yes. You, you can't make the seed grow. You can't make the roots grow. When you start watering, now the seed will germinate and it will start growing down. Once it starts growing down, in that time gap, it is growing. The roots are growing and growing and growing. And surely in due season, you will see harvest. That's what we see in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Okay, okay, let's go back to Matthew chapter 13. Praise God. Okay. But he that received... Okay, we read this. Okay, we'll see the 22nd verse. He also that received seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the care of this world and the deceitful of riches choke the word and he become unfruitful. So what is this saying? It is saying he also, he also that received seed 
among the thorns. So this seed is talking about the seed that was planted among thorns. He, you know, all these people, you know, many times you might be thinking, you know, the person who the seed fell on the wayside, the person who, you know, it fell on the stony and the thorny. Uh, Sometimes if, uh, if a person is new in the word, they will be thinking these people don't hear the word. These people don't hear the word. But we clearly see again and again, we see it is saying he heareth the word. In the 20th verse, we see it is saying he heareth the word. And here in 22nd verse, it says again, he heareth the word. And care and the care of this world and the deceitful of riches. That means he has received the word. But then he is so focused on the things of this world the riches of this world, the pleasures of this world, the lust of the flesh, in other words, you know, the, the, the deceiving spirit where, you know, the things of this world look very nice and I'm deceived and that is why I am living a life where I am in the pleasures and of this world, the care of this world and deceitful of riches that chokes the word and it, it becomes unfruitful. It becomes what? Unfruitful. Fruitful. You might be thinking, I put my full effort, but check if there is any care of this world, any deceitful of riches. That is where we all fail. Even I fail, we all fail. How many times we have been thinking, I want this, I want that? Yes. A lot of times. Lot of times. I want, you know, and how many times you have been trying to please people through that? I want this so that, you know, in school, if you have, if you have a, you know, competition, I have to get the best of the best. Yes? How yes. Many? What is that? This is just an example, okay? What is that? Pleasures of this world, the cares of this world, the deceitful of riches. Now, when there is that competition, God is saying, you cast that care upon him. And you will be able to see when you cast that care upon him, you will be able to see, you will be winning in that competition even before, you know, even though you, you never put your full effort. You never did anything. You just cast your care upon him. Our effort should not be to make a way, you know, to make a way to find an answer to our problem. No, no, no. Our effort should be, our labor should be to only hear the word and to focus completely on the word. When I start focusing on the word of God, start keeping the attention on the word. Now I have received this word and this word, okay, is become flesh. That's what this what 23rd verse is saying. But he that received seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word, again he's saying, heareth the word and understands it, which also beareth fruit and bring it forth, bring it, bring it forth, some an hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Isn't this very, very practical? This parable is very, very, very practical. Practical. It's very practical. And here God is saying, if you plant the seed, okay, if you receive the seed into good ground, okay, now you will surely, surely see the harvest. Thank you, Jesus. So when I start studying the word, having patience in that time gap, okay, and only keeping my focus, keeping my attention on his word, that is the time I will be able to see the harvest. And in the harvest, God knows the due season. And please, please always remember, the more, you know, the more your harvest is delayed, the better it is. You know why I'm saying that? Because the more time you spend in studying the word, the more time you spend in 
keeping your focus on the word now you will be able to see the harvest why because there is a good root system the more your harvest is being delayed the better it is because the more your rooting is becoming stronger and stronger and stronger praise god thank you jesus and and even in you know in mark 4 we see it is saying again and again jesus is saying and these are they which are sown on good ground such as hear the word see again he saying hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit some 30 fold some 60 and some 100 Prescott, who is a person? Who is a person who is experiencing harvest thirty, sixty, and hundred? They will only experience when the seed is sown on good ground. A person who is sown a seed on the good ground is having joy, is having patience, is having you know all these things. He's having faith. He's having honesty. He's having all these things come because. your seed is sown on good ground praise god and and, and that's why we see the uh, the the fruits of the spirit right yes when will you be able to see yes. thing when will you be able to see the manifesting when when we have good soil yes when you have good soil thank you jesus go to galatian 522 Galatians chapter five, verse number twenty-two. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. against such there is no law so anything in the kingdom of god that is given without me obeying the law is the fruit of the spirit it could be anything but okay but when i'm not you know when when when, when i'm not uh, in the law saying i have to do to receive that is when it becomes fruit of the spirit are you all understanding yes praise god and they that are christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust so here lust and here we see it is saying and they that are christ means a person is christ what is the meaning of the scripture in what context it saying what it means is they that are belonging to christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust of this world they have overcome the affections and the lust and the persecution of this world that's when they are planted the seed on good soil there will be 100% per, you know there will be 100% persecution coming there will be 100% pe- opposition people coming against you why because of the world's sake but when you have crucified the flesh with the fictions and lust that is when you will be able to see god's plan working in your life jesus did you all understand yes press god yes. any doubts no no Scott. And many times when you see uh, opposition, okay, we saw the 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 soil, the rocky soil. When opposition comes, then they are quickly offended. Am I correct? Yes. I'll give one example for that. Example when you see Joseph. Was Joseph on? You know, was Joseph based on his brothers and his brothers? What his brothers said? Was he based on what his brothers said? No. No, not at all. 
he was based on what his God said. Am I correct? Yes. yes. He had received a promise from God. This promise from God was a seed. This promise of God was a seed. 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 And this seed was sown in his heart. And since this seed was sown in his heart, his heart condition was good ground, okay, good soil. That is why he saw the harvest in due season. Did he see it immediately? No. But the more the harvest got delayed, the bigger it was. Imagine a slave turning into a governor. Is it possible? Never. By human. No. Yeah. But because he planted the seed, the harvest was so big. He was experiencing that 30, 60, the 100 fold harvest. Yes? Yes. Yes, Enoch. That's why it says a lot of things are possible with God. Yeah, all things are possible with God. And, and please, if we believe. as you said, it is not my problem to bring the harvest. Just like how it is not my problem to develop the root system, it is not my problem to bring the harvest. The harvest will by default come when I start the seed and keep on watering the seed. Why we don't see harvest is because we have uprooted that seed. We cut this for two hours in a day and rest of the day, if somebody comes and asks you, how are you? You say, I am sick or I am this, I am that. I have failed my exam. I have done this. Now what you have spoken, you have uprooted that seed and that's why we don't see harvest. Then the blame comes on who? The blame comes on God. God, why are you not giving? Right? Yes. How you blame it on God. Was it, but is it God's blame? No. Oh, no. No, it is because of our lack of understanding of how a seed works. If I don't understand how the seed works, I'll be, the seed, you know, this principle will work against me. I will continue to plant seeds that are contradicting to the word of God and the harvest will also be contradicting to the word. It will destroy. It's just like, do you have the law of electricity? The law of gravity? Yes. If you, yes. If you don't understand it, then will it work for you? No. no, it will work against you. Correct? Yes. 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 In the same way, if you understand, if you don't understand this principle, how it works, it will work for you or against you? Against you. For yes. you. For you or against you? If you against you, against you, against you. Yeah, if you don't understand how a seed works, it will not work for you. It will work against you and it will bring destruction in your own life. And that's what many times happen with us. Am I correct? Even with me. Not only with you, even with me. We don't understand how it works. We continually speak contradicting to the word. And now what will be the harvest contradicting to the word of God? Because contradicting to the word of God. So, yeah, yeah, you know. I said the answer is con harvest will be contradicting to the word of God. Yes, yeah. And now you have uprooted the seed of the word and planted the seed of the world. And, and that's what we're doing now. Now we are uprooting the seed of the world and planting a seed from the word of God. Yes? Yes. And when we are planting yes. the seed with the word of God and we, we understand how this law works, 100% guarantee that we will see 30, 60, and 100 fold harvest. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Any doubts? Do you have any doubts? Any questions? Okay, so uh, somebody is saying, Praise God. Uh, Alistair, at the at the end, okay, please can we make a prayer for my friend Joshua? His family has hit COVID and the class has to isolate for a week. So if possible, please could we make a prayer? Okay, yeah, yeah, praise God. 
thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Nathan. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, above Father, Lord. As you have given me the authority to speak to the mountain, I am speaking to you the spirit of infirmity, the spirit of sickness, the spirit of COVID, the spirit of virus. I bind you. I rebuke you. I curse you from the root. I uproot you and I cast you out into the depth of the sea in the name of Jesus. You have no power, no place to return back or to attack back, but you are bound, bound for all eternity. You are bound on earth. You are bound in heaven. Lord, I lose as you have given me the authority. I lose this friend of Nathan's is completely healed. Joshua is completely healed. He is completely restored, completely set free from this spirit of sickness. He is completely delivered. He is complete. There is no more blockage. There is nothing else. He is doing everything normally. Perfect. How we have created him to work. How we have created him to do the things, Lord. I believe it. I receive it, Lord. And Lord, his. He is back to school. His class is back, back to school. There is nothing, no more problem. And he is completely healed and set free from the spirit of sickness. Lord, I agree with these, with these, with, with these children and with Nathan. I agree, Lord. In Jesus' my name, we pray, Father. Amen. 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 Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Okay, so we can close today's session with the prayer. Does anybody want to do the ending prayer? Yeah, Enoch, you okay, have raised your hand. Do you want to say anything? Yes, I forgot what I was going to say because of the prayer. Hey, if I remember, I will say it next class. Yeah. Okay. Um, we can close today's session with the prayer. Does anybody want to do the ending prayer? Anybody? Praise God. Can I do? Yeah, yeah, Enoch, yes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you for the lovely session you have given us today. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You protect us during we are going to school. Who guide us and teach us in every matter of this in this session. Thank you for our stand. Thank you for giving us the truth today. And, and help us to be one, not only the others, but to be the doer of the word of God. You have favored each one of us today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Yes, God. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We can pray in tongues. Thank <laughs> you.